Most recently, firearm manufacturers have answered the call for improvements in the microcompact pistol category, all the while maintaining the small footprint of a microcompact pistol. Today's diminutive pistols prove that small doesn't necessarily translate to compromised performance and handling. Hi everyone, in this video, we'll break down 10 of the best micro pistols available today. Any of these handguns would be a good choice for concealed carry, self-defense, or just casual range use. Taurus Curve The Taurus Curve was designed for concealed carriers looking for a truly compact pistol in 380 ACP for all-day, everyday carry. Fully loaded at 13.6 ounces and measuring in at only 5 inches long, the Taurus Curve qualifies as a pocket gun. The pistol is chambered for 380 ACP, a round that nearly equals the power of standard 38 special loads. With its six-shot detachable magazines, the reloading aspect is somewhat faster than breaking open a revolver to initiate the reload. Once the curve is free of the waistband, holster, or pocket, there are two choices for aiming. You can either utilize the pistol's bore sight system on the rear of the slide, or you can activate the frame-mounted red laser, which is activated by pressing a switch fitted flush into the pistol's frame. For a deep conceal, low visibility profile, the curve does a very good job of providing a viable defense option that leads well to being carried safely and without readily printing. However, as a primary concealed carry handgun, I would not recommend it as a go-to daily conceal carry. Sig Sauer P290RS As Sig continues to pave the way forward in terms of its personal defense lineup, a pocket pistol to accompany some of the company's larger personal defense guns is a welcome sight. Modern ergonomics balance the trade-off between smooth curves and the hard-angled features that aid in the pistol's operation, but could potentially hinder smooth draws and reholstering. The 9mm chambering combined with the barrel's distinctive bell-shaped tip makes for a more powerful, more accurate pocket pistol. For those carriers that appreciate some heft in a compact or subcompact pistol, the P290RS offers a solid 1-inch wide slide that gives this pistol a likeness to a full-size companion. A potential drawback resides in its grip. For those with larger hands, alternate grip panels and an extended magazine are recommended. Additionally, there's the small matter of price. SIG prices can often be a deterrent for some prospective buyers, but for what is sacrificed in the wallet, the P290RS certainly makes up for in quality and a feature-rich design. Bond Arms Bullpup The bullpup's barrel is 3.35 inches long in a gun that stretches a mere 5.1 inches. That makes the 7 Plus 1 Bond Arms Bullpup roughly an inch shorter than the 6 Plus 1 Glock 43, whose barrel is a measly 0.04 inches longer. The engraved rosewood scales enable a positive, full grip on the little gun, with the wide backstrap well positioned along the web of my hand. While the gun's geometry soaks up recoil, the grip's wide rear also helps control the impulse. The Bullpup 9 is a well-made handgun with good features. Most importantly, the piece is reliable. The pistol is among the very few small handguns that shoot like big guns. It is light and compact, but easy to fire accurately. It is useful in fast combat firing and surprisingly accurate in bench rest testing. Standard Manufacturing Switch Gun Folding Revolver The switch gun is the latest advancement in personal protection from standard manufacturing. It fits into your pocket and occupies about the same amount of space as your cell phone. When in the folded position, the grip of the switch gun completely encapsulates the trigger to prevent any type of accidental discharge. Upon depressing a button, the switch gun immediately springs open and is ready for the immediate and reliable discharge of five 22 Magnum cartridges. When not in use, the switch gun can be folded into a very small form factor and stored in your pocket to conceal. Unlike many of its competitors, the switch gun features a large handle to provide a good amount of grip, similar to a full-sized revolver, which provides the highest degree of control and accuracy. The frame and barrel of the standard manufacturing switchgun revolver are CNC machined out of stainless steel. 
the grip is made of polymer. The barrel length is 0.88 inches, and the weight of this wheel gun is 9 ounces. Taurus 738 TCP Moderately lightweight with its polymer frame and steel slide, the Taurus 738 TCP is a true pocket pistol chambered in the 380 cartridge. While some experts have no love for the power of the 380, the smaller cartridge does allow companies to build a smaller handgun than those made in larger calibers, helping with ease of carry. And while greatly improved self-defense ammunition offered over the past several years doesn't push 380 loads to 9mm power levels, it still makes the cartridge a viable self-defense alternative and one for which many budget pistols are chambered. Weighing in at a little over 10 ounces, the diminutive Taurus has a 2.84 inch barrel and wears a set of U-notch rear and fixed front sights that work fine for the close ranges typical of self-defense scenarios. The gun is 3 and 3 quarter inches tall and 0.87 inches wide. Unlike many pocket pistols, the little Taurus is hammer fired, although the hammer is hidden from sight under the channel in the slide. It has no thumb or trigger safety, but neither do most pistols this size. The Taurus 738 TCP 380 is available in all black, two tone stainless, or pink, with an MSRP of $249 and a street price in the $225 range, it's hard to beat for someone looking for a budget EDC pocket pistol. Springfield 911 Compact In my opinion, the Springfield Armory 911 is the answer for those concealed carriers who are looking for reliable functioning, crisp accuracy, and a beautiful piece, all in one. Weighing in at only 12.6 ounces, the 911 has a 2.7 inch barrel and an overall length of 5.5 inches. With this small size, the 911 is geared for comfortable concealed carry without adding too much size and weight. Unlike a 1911, the 911 lacks a grip safety on the back strap, but does retain a few similar controls for those versed in that 1911. This includes the slide catch on the left side of the frame, exposed hammer, and bilateral safety. Tritium front and rear sights come included with the 911, with two smaller dots on the rear and a larger dot on the front sight. The 911 feed from either a standard six round single stack detachable box magazine that is flush with the frame, or an extended seven round magazine that acts as a grip extension. The Springfield 911 comes with slide color options of either stainless or black as well as different grip panel color options.